In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Good morning. Good morning, Father. And Happy New Year. Yan, at least eh, gising tayo in spite na umaga yung na tayong uh, nagising siguro yung iba dahil sa celebration. The year opens with the solemnity of Mary, Mother of God, just as mothers are always the first to touch our lives. So we begin our spiritual journey under the loving gaze of Mary, the Mother of God, and our Mother. Mary gathers us, her children, in Jesus Christ, under her care, let us entrust to her our hopes and fears, our joys and sorrows. Today we also mark the fifth, fifth World Day of Prayer for Peace, with the Savior of the world who brings God's peace to His people, bless all of humanity with the gift of peace. As we come together, thanking God for all the blessings that we receive from Him, especially the gifts of life, we also pray that God, through the intercession of Mary, will continue to bless us, to bless our loved ones as well, and to bless especially those who are victims of this pandemic, and victims of the recent typhoon. As we celebrate the day of prayer for peace, we ask our Lord to bring peace to our families. So my dear friends, let us now make ourselves worthy of this holy celebration. Once again, let us be reconciled with one another and with our God. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who through the fruitful virginity of Blessed Mary, bestowed on the human race the grace of eternal salvation, grant, we pray, that we may experience the intercession of her through whom we were found worthy to receive the author of life. Our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. This beautiful prayer was used in the past when the priests blessed the people. On New Year's Day, we invoke God's name upon ourselves for the, for the year ahead. A reading from the book of Numbers. The Lord said to Moses, Speak to Aaron and his sons and tell them, This is how you shall bless the Israelites. Say to them, The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord let his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you kindly and give you peace. So shall they invoke my name upon the Israelites, and I will bless them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
May God have pity on us and bless us. May He let His face shine upon us. So may your way be known upon earth, among all nations, your salvation. May God bless us in His mercy. May the nations be glad and exult because you rule the peoples in equity. The nations on the earth you guide. May God bless us in His mercy. May the peoples praise you, O God. May all the peoples praise you. May God bless us and may all the ends of the earth Fear him. May God bless us in his mercy. When the fullness of time had come, the Son of God became man, born of a woman, Mary, from whom Jesus took, took his humanity is the glory of our human race. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. Brothers and sisters, when the fullness of time had come, God sent His Son, born of a woman, born under the law, to ransom those under the law, so that we might receive adoption as sons. As proof that you are sons, God sent the Spirit of His Son into our hearts, crying out, Abba, Father. So you are no longer a slave, but a son. And if a son, then also an heir, through God, the Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand. In the past, God spoke to our ancestors through the prophets. In these last days, He has spoken to us through the Son. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. The shepherds went in haste to Bethlehem and found Mary and Joseph and the infant lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known the message that had been told them about this child. All who heard it were amazed by what has been told them by the shepherds. And Mary kept all these things reflecting on them in her heart. Then the shepherds returned glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen just as it had been told to them. When eight days were completed for his circumcision, he was named Jesus, the name given him by the angel before he was conceived in the womb. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Alam ko, bago dumating itong araw na ito, New Year, January 1st, yung mga nanay ay abalang-abala. Di ba? Naghahanap 
na mga bilog na prutas naghanap na pamidya nutse at uh, naghahanap ng fortune teller Feng Shui at hinahanda lahat para sa pamilya walang kapaguran dahil kailangan dito magtataka ka kasi in spite of pandemic naghahanap naghahanap pa rin ng pagkakataon at paraan ang mga nanay sa paghahanda at ito lahat alam ko dahil alam nila at mahal nila ang kanilang pamilya. Hindi lamang sa paghahanda dahil pagdating sa bahay doon makilala mo, makikita mo na ang mga nanay pala ay very shy. Alam niyo ba yun? Na very shy yung mga nanay. Dahil pagdating sa bahay, siya ay maglilinis, siya ay magluluto, siya ay maglalabah, siya ay maghahanda. Very shy. Very shy ang mga nanay. At hindi lamang sa paghahanda. Siya pa rin ang magtuturo at mag-alaga. Hindi lamang sa mga anak at lalong-lalo na sa mga apo. Lalong-lalo na kapag ang anak Iwalang katulong sa bahay at may terbaho. Kanino bang iniiwan ang mga anak sa lula, sa lulo, na isang ina na noon siguro, nung mas bata pa, eh, hindi masyadong connected sa kanilang anak pero, bantayan nyo, huwag niyong pakialaman ang kanilang apo. Dahil mas matindi pa ang kanilang pag-alaga sa kanilang mga apo. Ganun ang nanay. It is because motherhood is a mission. It's a call. It's a vocation. Kaya ibang-iba ang feeling ng mga nanay. Ibang-iba. Kailangan merong i-provide sa mga anak. At lahat-lahat ng paraan ay gagawin niya. Ay gagawin niya. Lahat ng sakripisyo. At ito, kapag walang trabaho yung tatay at ang nanay yung breadwinner para siyang martyr. At yun ang first martyr sa family, yung mga nanay. Bakit? Dahil handang-handa sila mag-alay ng kanilang sarili bilang sakripisyo para sa kaniyang pamilya. Hindi lahat ng mga nanay masaya. Di ba? Sa totoo lang, hindi lahat ng mga nanay masaya. Kaya pag tinignan mo sa gabi, Matagal matulog dahil maraming pinaplano. 
marami iniisip kung saan kukuha kinabukasan ng ipapakain sa kanya mga anak kung anong ipabaon niya at ibayad sa tuition fees ng kanya mga estudyan. But then, mothers never surrender. They never surrender. Hahanap at hahanap pa rin sila ng paraan. Kaya, ano mga paraan? Tuminsan niniiwan nila ang kanila mga pamilya upang magtrabaho. Upang maging may o kasambahay. Yung iba siguro ng mga anak mag-isip, eh, iniwan kami na nanay namin. Pero hindi nila naiisip at nababasa ang puso at isipan ng kanilang nanay. Iniwan sila para sa kanilang kapakanan. Iniwan sila upang buhayan sila, upang maibigay ang kanilang mga hinihingi, bagong cellphone, bagong iPad, ang lahat-lahat ng mga luho, Diba? Kaya pag, kapag humingi, lalong-lalo na pag abroad yung nanay, kapag humingi, akala mo eh. Heaven is the limit. Akala mo, yung nanay nila nagpapala ng pera, hindi nila alam na ang nanay pala nila ay gabi na matulog. Walang day off. Yung ibang nanay naman, ay eh, nagdo-double work. Pagkatapos ng eight hours sa isang bahay, pupunta naman sa isang bahay upang magtabaho, upang matugunan ang mga pangangailangan sa bahay. That is the mother. And that is the mission of the mother. Pagod palagi ang mga nanay. Pero, napapansin po ba natin ito? Nagre-reklamo ba sila? Hindi. Ang reklamo nila, ang alam ko, dinadaan sa dasal. Di ba? Dinadaan sa dasal. At ang dasal, sana po, Mabigyan ako ng lakas at bigyan ng magandang health upang makapagtrabaho ng walang upay. Yun ang mga dasal ng mga nana. Katulad ni Maria, hindi basta-basta ang misyon niya bilang maging ina ng Diyos. Remember sa annunciation, Mary was praying. He was praying when the angel arrived and announced that she will be the mother of God. He was, she was praying and she never sees praying. Pagdating sa kanyang pinsang Elizabeth nung sinabi, Blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb. It was a confirmation. But as the gospel is telling us, What Mary's heard, he, she kept that in her heart. Ibig sabihin, di nadasal niya. Pinagdadasal niya. Her mind continues to link with God. Hindi siya humihinto 
kahit yung sinabi ng mga, ang, ng mga shepherd sa kanya, hindi nga sinulat, pero sigurado. Alam niya, narinig niya. Nung i-present ng kanyang anak, anong sinabi ni Simeon? Magsakripisyo siya. The sword will pierce his their heart. Punong-puno ng sakripisyo, ngunit upang magkaroon ng lakas, si Maria ay tinadaan niya sa pamagitan ng dasal. Ng dasal. Always pray. Always linking, uniting herself with God. Kasi, hindi basta-basta ang maging nanay. Nung mawala ang ating Panginoon, naglakad sila ng tatlong araw upang hanapin ang kanilang anak. Ganun. Hindi ba? Mawawala lang sa tabi yung anak eh. Ang mga nanay, mababaliw sa paghahanap. Lalong-lalo na yung mga anak na hindi umuwi. Gabi na, umaga na, umuwi ng bahay. Akala nyo, hindi nag-aalala ang inyong nanay. Hindi. Hindi makatulog yan. Kaya kung minsan sila pa yung magbukas ng pintuan, para kayo mapaka, makapasok. Ano oras na? Las dos, alas tres ng umaga. But then they are there, waiting. Ganun ang nanay. Kasi ganun ang misyon ng mga nanay. Not only to feed the mouth, the hungry stomach. Not only to inform or to teach the empty mind, but most of all, to fill the heart, to fill the heart with sacrifices. My dear friends, we are celebrating today, Mary, the first day of the year, Mary, the mother of Jesus. Siguro yung iba magtataka, bakit? Di ba New Year dapat eh malaking preparation? Bakit tinutukan si Maria? Kasi kapag tingnan natin ng buhay natin, sa unang araw parang na lumabas tayo sa sinampupunan ng nanay, that was the first day of our life. Diba? Kaya nga, dapat lamang ibigay natin ang unang araw ng taon kay Maria. Dahil sa yung nanay na pinili ng Diyos para sa ating kaligtasan, para sa kanyang anak na magliligtas sa atin. At katulad ni Maria, ang lahat ng mga nanay dapat bigyan natin ng respeto, ng honor sa araw na ito. Because they begin with our day. Sila yung nagsimula. Magbigay sa atin ng araw. Yung tatay, hindi. Yung nanay. Kaya napakahalaga ang araw na ito para ipagdasal ang lahat ng mga nanay. Na sana po, yung mga anak na sa sinampupunan nila, makarating sa umaga. Makakita ng liwanag ng ubaga sa kanilang pagsilang sa kanilang anak. Kaya ka imagine yung mga anak na paglubaki na, may kanya-kanyang mga trabaho na, 
kapag iwanan nila ang kanilang nanay sa bahay, lalong-lalo na kapag may sakit na, marami akong alam sa pag na binibigyan namin ng uh, last sacrament, ano yung tingog na sit? Kuminsan yung anak ko sa ano mga anak? Bakit naiiwan? But then, nagreklabo ba yung nanay? Hindi pa rin. Alam pa rin ang nanay na darating at darating. Kaya mga anak, bigyan natin na magandang araw ang ating mga nanay, ang mga nanay. Sa so, sinabi ko kanina, they had been preparing not only a whole day preparation for everybody to celebrate this new year. Mga pagod na sila. Kaya sa araw na ito, karapatan din sana nila na magpahinga. At ang kanilang pagpahinga ay napaka-effective na pahinga kasi nandito sila sa nanay na mga nanay. Humuhugot ng lakas na kung kaya ni Maria ang lahat ng misyon sa kanyang anak, ganun din ang lahat ng mga nanay. Humuhugot sa pamagitan ng pagdasal kay Maria. And as we celebrate the motherhood of Mary, we are also celebrating the motherhood of all mothers. Kaya, sa lahat ng mga nanay, mabuhay din. Mabuhay din. Mabuhay din. We all stand. Let us now profess our faith. I believe in one God. The Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not me, consubstantial with the Father, through Him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation, He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, He was crucified under Pontius Pilate, He suffered dead and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and His kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Hoping that we will get through this year by relying on your grace, dear Father, as we face new challenges and opportunities, we pray to you, Father, that the Prince of Peace, born of Mary, may guide us as we struggle to incarnate the gospel values in our lives. Full of trust, we say, God of peace, listen to our prayer. God of peace, listen to our prayer. We pray for Pope Francis, all the bishops, priests, and deacons. May they be instruments of peace and unity in communities where hatred and division reign, we pray. God of peace, listen to our prayer. 
We pray for the leaders of nations. May they value dialogue more than dissent and promote restorative justice so that people may live in tranquility and work for their advancement. We pray. God of peace, listen to our prayer. We pray for all those persecuted because of religion, class, race, gender, or color. May they find support and comfort from those who work for justice and peace in their community. We pray. God of peace, listen to our prayer. We pray for the end of the pandemic. May the Lord continue to heal those who are infected, protect those who are in the front lines, and grant internal rest to those who have died. We pray. God of peace, listen to our prayer. We pray for all of us gathered. May the good Lord protect us against ad adversity and sin. May we be instrument of God's peace through, throughout this year, we pray. God of peace, listen to our prayer. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community and our personal intentions. We pray. God of peace, listen to our prayers. In our personal intentions and prayers, let us remember all mothers. Huwag dasal po natin ng mga naranin. Na sana po sila ay mabigyan ng lakas, lalong-lalo na sa pagpalaki ng kanilang pamilya. Mabigyan sila ng tunay na kapayapaan at pagmamahal. Pag natasal natin sila, na sana po walang nanay na ma-infect ng COVID upang maalagaan ng bawat isa sa pamilya. Heavenly Father, hear our prayer, humble and supplication. Help us spend our whole life in your service and bring peace to our brothers and sisters, especially to mothers. To Christ, our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. Pray, my dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. O God, who in your kindness begin all good things and bring them to fulfillment, grant to us who find joy in the solemnity of the Holy Mother of God, that just as we glory in the beginning of your grace, 
so one day we may rejoice in its completion through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is really right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. And to praise, bless and glorify your name for the solemnity of the motherhood of the Blessed Virgin Mary. For by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son, and without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal light, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him, the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have healed us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we might be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, 
and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Socrates our Archbishop, Fidelis his assistant, Gerard our Master of the Order, the religious, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your faith. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with our Father St. Dominic, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Stand. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we might be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, Peace I love you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, to live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
Please kneel. Behold, Jesus, the Son of Mary, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but, but only say, say the word, word and my soul shall be healed. Please kneel. Prayer for the elections. Let us pray that the forthcoming elections may truly reflect the will of the Lord who guides the destinies of nations. Let us pray together. Deliver us, Lord. From coercion, violence, and terrorism. From this honesty, lies, and all distortion of truth. From bribery, graft, and all conspiracy for fraud. From threats, intimidation, and perverse language. Let us pray together. Hear us, Lord. That conscience may always be our ultimate norm that the common good may always be our highest goal, that human dignity may be respected all the time, that the poor and the weak may always have the priority, that genuine fear of God and love of neighbors may guide those who, public, who seek public office. Let us pray. Shepherd of souls and saviors of nations, politics is your gift to us. A call to serve others. May our political engagement for voters and candidates bring glory to your loving name and help us grow in holiness forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. We have received this heavenly sacrament with joy, O Lord. Grant, we pray, that it may lead us to eternal life. For we rejoice to proclaim the blessed ever Virgin Mary, Mother of your Son and Mother of the Church, through Christ our Lord. Amen. In behalf of the Dominican community in the Priory of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, and in behalf of the Mainu Basilica of Manawa community, we would like to greet you a happy 
Happy New Year. Let us continue praying for, his, for one another, especially this time. Omicron is uh, going fast, higher and higher. So uh, please uh, take good care of your health of yourself. Observe our uh, health protocols. Hindi patapos ang pandemic. So we would like to enjoy this new year with free uh, illness. Kaya nga dapat tayo mismo ang magsimula. Tayo mismo magingat. Uh, please, pagdasal nyo rin po yung mga frontliners namin dito sa Minor Basilica, ang aming mga sakristan upang patuloy ang ating servisyo, ang ating mga lectors and commentators, lalong-lalo na yung ating uh, Eucharistic ministers and ushers. Pakiinclude also our security guards, our radio staff, at ipagdasal din po natin si Rusty na siya yung kumakanta na sana po mabigyan ng buhay ang ating liturgy. So maraming maraming salamat po at ingat. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May God, the source and origin of all blessing, grant you grace, pour out His blessing in abundance, and keep you safe from harm throughout the year. Amen. May He give you integrity in the faith, endurance of hope, and perseverance in charity with holy patience to the end. Amen. May He order your days and your deeds in His peace, grant your prayer in this and every place, and lead you happily to eternal life. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. The Holy Mass has been offered. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Patuloy natin ipagdasal ang mga may sakit, lalong-lalo na yung nasa hospital at sa bahay na naiwan. At uh, we will also bless your religious articles. Our hope is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. Let us pray. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. To our kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters, free them from all illness, and restore them to good health through the intercession of our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they were grateful of bless your holy name, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. For your religious articles, in memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Mother of the Church, our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may all these rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other religious articles be blessed and made holy in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 